Good morning, uh, beloved. Good morning, church. Today is another day when we read the scriptures and we focus on Jesus. And we will uh, continue to read uh, Colossians chapter 1, verse 18. Jesus, he is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead. That is everything he might be preeminent. That in everything he might be preeminent. I really like preeminence of Jesus. He is the leading. He's the leader. He's number one. He's the first. He's the greatest. Jesus was first to die. Paul is writing. He's the first among uh, from the dead. He's firstborn from the dead. A lot of people in, in, a, in the scriptures uh, we, we see that were resurrected. But Jesus is different. He resurrected and he never died. All people that we know in the Old Testament and the New Testament who were resurrected from the dead, they died again. Jesus did not. That gives us hope that one day, that one day, we will not dread death. We will live forever. We will be resurrected and will never face death again. That is separation of people from God. That that will be destroyed, it will be thrown out, and we will be with Jesus forever. He is the first, he is the leading, he is number one. I really like the way this uh, 18th birth verse um, states. He is the head of the body, the church. You and I are blessed in many ways because we just don't have to go to church. We are the church. We are the church. We are the body of Jesus Christ. We are the body in which Jesus Christ is the head. Apostle Paul writes, comparing church to many different uh, images as a building when we are different building blocks. And sometimes he's talking about bride and sometimes he talks about body. And I'm so blessed and so happy to have you as my body friend. You are my friend. You are a member of the same body. The question is, are we functional body? Are you a body that uh, follows the orders of the head or we're just making our own decisions? And Apostle Paul writes that Jesus is the head. I truly believe in for the church to be number one, to be leading, to be um, for most uh, efficient and effective, the body of the church should obey its head. Today, my prayer is, and I would like to invite you to pray about this, can we pray that we as the church, we will put Jesus in his place, in a place of the head, in our minds, in our hearts, we will submit to the head, we will give him the leading position. Sometimes we feel that we have something to say. We're making decisions as if it's our church. We are not. Sometimes we like music, sometimes we don't. Sometimes we like sermons, sometimes we don't. Sometimes we complain about something, how cold or how hot it is in the building. Hey, church is bigger than a building. Church is bigger than our own little community. Church is the body of Jesus Christ that got to fulfill his purpose in a time that we live in. And each one of us got to play a significant role to do what Jesus wants. So today I would encourage us to really consider allowing Jesus to be the leader. Allowing him to be first when we have a need. Allowing him to be the first when we need to talk to somebody, allowing him to be the first when we have concern or, or pain. Where do you go? You go to the head. Head going to make the proper decision. So let's open up and listen to what Jesus has to say about our daily lives, about church. Let's pray about other churches too. Let's pray about church leaders, church pastors, and let's pray about ministries. We truly believe if each person opens their heart and carefully listens to what Jesus has to say about function of the body. We're all going to be in tune and we're going to be doing a great thing for the kingdom. Let's pray about it. Our Heavenly Father, we're so excited that um, you are the head of our body. 
your wisdom, your knowledge, your power, your mercy. And God, um, you're so good, you're so gracious. You are so loving to so many people, God, and we pray that uh, your leadership in our life will be visible. God, we want you to be the first, first source, first place for us to go when we have need, concern, question. God, we want you to be the first. I'm sorry that sometimes we think that we have to make decisions, that we have to, uh, it's our burden that we have to um, do certain things, God, but it's you. You are the leader of your body, the church, and we pray that your leadership will continue in our hearts and our minds. God, we want to be obedient to you. We want to hear your voice and do exactly what you're telling us to do. Because that's how church will be effective in a world we live in. God, make your church effective. God, we thank you so much. And I pray about, um, God, I pray your blessing on every member of the church. On every person who loves you, who serves you, who listens to your voice, who prays, who reads your word, who meditates on it. Every person who's trying to live according to your principles. God, bless your church. Bless your church abundantly in many ways. God, in today we pray about um, churches around us, in neighborhoods. We pray about every pastor, every leader who have to make decisions on how to run church in this um, in this time. God, but you're leading. You're leading your church. You, you're directing in your church and um, under your leadership church uh, will be strong gates of hell will not prevail against your church because nobody ever won against you um, and nobody ever will Jesus we thank you so much for your power and your presence we thank you for your guidance and leadership guy Jesus we thank you for being our head in Jesus name Amen. Beloved, it is a wonderful day. Uh, it's a wonderful time. May God's blessing be upon you as you uh, continue your journey, as you um, live this day. May the leadership of Jesus be upon your life and may it be visible um, and you'll be obedient to his voice. In Jesus' name. God bless you. See you next time.